Welcome back to the baby. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to. I was about to say welcome back, back to Santa Gato Studios. It's not. I mean, technically they are back at Santa Gato Studios, but well, it's a different. It's a different room in there. Right. Welcome back to the basement yard. It is the basement yard. You got um, it. You nice it out. shirt. Thank you, bitch. Inch. It. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god. Oh, you're really just leaning into being a giant fan this week, huh? You give you what the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, you, you can't. You can't. You can't. No, because you come in here and you're dressed to the nines with all baseball gear all the time. Uh, but but uh, uh, Bubba. And now I like your shirt. Thank you so much. You were asking me glasses on, glasses off. But I don't know what to Let's do. Let's see. Let's see. Glasses on. Glasses on. Okay. You look like Michael Douglas in one of those movies where he killed someone. Oh, like The Game or something like that? I don't, I don't know. You don't know enough movies. Um, or glasses. Watch it. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. I saw it coming off. I, I got to close my eyes. Okay. Let me know when they're down. Glass, no, they're on now. Look. Okay. Glasses off. Yeah. What do you think? Leave them on. All right, bitch. Yeah. You look eloquent. Is that right? Did uh, I yeah, use that? No, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Thank yeah. you. I'm getting compliments today. What else? Tell me I look good, please. Don't haircut. Push luck. Haircut. I know. Haircut Frank. People love when you get a haircut. I know. I don't know why. Well, it's be- well, hair looks better when it's cut, right? Does it? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, um, yeah. Joey? Oh, also, I wanted to tell you oh, on yo- the way over, this is, this is the thing I was like hiding from you. Yeah. I got into a car accident this morning. Well, obviously, you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Like I that? Think I, I think- Fendi Bendy? Um, they bend your fend? I got into a yeah, I got into a, a, a accident with a seemingly Jewish man. Oh, I got hit by a Jew not long ago too. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's going on out there? <laughs> was it the same one? His last name was Gold. Well, gotta sue. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, he was a nice guy. But he hit the fuck out of me. And was, it was he one hundred percent his fault? Was he like an Orthodox Jew? Oh, he was just a, he worked in real estate. He wasn't like, Hasidic oh, he wasn't like, like, he was like, okay. I, I, I got hit by a Hasidic. Oh. On the Manhattan Bridge. You got hit on a bridge? Yeah. I got, I got mm. railed from the back by a Jew on a bridge. It, it, yeah. said it. I didn't, I mean, that's what it is. That's you what got, happened. Uh, yeah, it is what happened. Words can be words. Words can be words. For what sure. happened? Are you okay? Yeah. Like, just like my, like, it, it, the damage to the car is not bad. Um, it felt and sounded worse than it looks from the back. From the back. Okay, guy and, didn't and, stop in time. Well, we were. I was not even moving really. It's just, uh, and I have a little bit of like whiplash, I guess, like my neck and like. Oh, that back. bad. My my neck and my back, yeah. Really? My pussy and my crack, totally fine. Uh, uh, my that's what my I was back. gonna hope about. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It's just I wasn't expecting it, so I. I mean, like, bad enough that you got a little whiplash. I've never been hit hard enough. I guess knock on wood that I've had like fucking like ooh. Did you get out the car doing this because you knew no. he was fucking he was sweating the moment you did he, that. He popped out like pretty like significantly. I mean quickly. He, I think he was looking at his phone because I was like trying to get oh, in sh- somewhere. Well, you can't say it now. Now it's the legal record. You're gonna fucking get this guy all locked up. I think I said, I could think anything. I think the moon is cheese. How's that? A lot of people do. So yeah, you might be starting something there. But I was going in, I was like coming into a lane there. You're so focused on my hands. I, I'm very, I, I don't know why I'm so intrigued here. I, I am like legitimately. But I was just, I had my arm out the window like I was cool. Oh. And then he hit me. <gasps> he really humbled you real quick. Don't and be I, cool I just, in your car. First thing I did, I went like this. Yeah, that's the first. Listen, this is the first. When I got hit, I got out of the car and the first thing I did was, yeah, this is the universal yeah. like. What's going on? This is bullshit. What, I, like, I don't understand this. I feel bad for the dude who hit me because I didn't want him. Like, I was almost like, it's okay, dude. Oh. The whole time. Like, I wasn't mad at him at all. Yeah, that's good. I am mad that, like, I, now I won't have a car because I have to, like, send it in. And How bad is the dammy? It's, it's not bad, but, like, you don't want to. I don't know if the light works. The he fucked light. up. The, what, Joey? This sounds like he hit you pretty hard. No, if you go see the car, it's. Not I will bad. normally on my way out, as I as I told you before, I drag my balls across your uh, door handle. Oh, did you say ass last time? Now it's balls. Oh, now you're going front. <laughs> it's a surprise. Okay. I, I I try to mix it up a little Thank bit. You. you know, paprika one day and cayenne the next. It's all it's a matter of you know taste. Not an expression. I, <laughs> uh, I like. 
I've never like been hit to the point where it's like, oh, something might not work. Like I've gotten little taps, little beep beeps. They felt way worse. And then I go and look at it. I'm like, oh, there's nothing there. Yeah. But this sounds like you actually, like you might have a case on your hand. On my hand? One hand. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a case on your hand. And you know what, Joe? Trust me. Let me get rid of that paper there. Trust me, I'm a lawyer. No, what, did the, what did the paper say? The paper said uh, cowboy. I'll show you. Trust me, I'm a cowboy? That's what it said. Look, uh, where is the paper? I already threw it in the garbage. No, it's over he, there. He made a sign that said, what did it say, Frank? It was, first of all, I didn't. I made this sign. This is the one I made. Joey had a sign for uh, that he was going to hang up in his office that said, you really want to do this, huh? It said, trust me, I'm a racist. Well, I just want to make sure Joey you know, lives it. And then you just and then you bailed out of that joke, huh? <laughs> Good for you. Um, but yeah, so I've I've been struck by a vehicle this morning. Did you did you do like the name, insurance card, driver's license? And you know all that? what's funny about that? I've never done this before. Like this has never happened to me. So I got his information. He was kind of leading the charge because I didn't know what to do. Well, normally the people from the back tend to you know control the situation. And yes, he did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he gave me. Um, I took a picture of his license. I took a picture of his uh, registration, and he gave me his business card. Didn't do the insurance card, so I got to call this guy. I mean, as long as you got that stuff, that's fine. They can always look it up. But also, did you take a picture of the damage on your car? Yes. Okay. While you were there? Yeah. Okay, good. Then now you're now you're getting it. Let, let daddy teach you here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, insurance guy over there too. I was a former insurance guy. Yeah. Uh, and you know what I did? I drove away, and then I called my mom, and I said, hey, ma, I was just in a car accident. Uh, the only reason why I'm calling you is because I don't know what's next. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. You call you call your insurance. So who do you have? Geico? I, I think, yeah. Okay, you, you, don't, you don't know? I have Geico. Okay, you call Geico. Oh, you don't want them to know you have Geico. Why does that matter? Makes sense. You call Geico, and you let them know, like, hey, get the get-go on the phone. I've got some issues. Big T, one sec? Yeah. Do I have to do that, like, immediately, or, like, I have stuff to do today? You should, you should do it today. But, like, but, uh, but what happens if I don't? You could, you could, it could be used against you in terms of, like, stuff like that. It can. It, 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 you want to get as quick, in front of it as quick as possible. Just say, hey, just letting you know, I got, I got, I got my bendy got fendied. Yeah. And well, I. No, my fendy got bendied. Whatever. And uh, it was uh, by a Jewish man. I'm gonna leave that. Part I don't know. Out. Yeah, I don't know. You probably. I don't want. I want this to feel like a target. That's thing. a smart. That's a smart <laughs> idea. Um, and he was a nice man. Yeah, I'm sure. And he, he was. actually said he's like, I appreciate you not, you know, getting so excited over this. I think he meant excited of like angry and like. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, because yeah, I, I don't like, understand don't why about. people get so worked up when you like. Yeah. I mean, I guess I get. Unless it, you but, like, blow a light. And an also, I had my dog in the car. Accident's an accident. You know, wait, where is that bitch? Well, I was dropping him at the, oh, at the groomer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so not only do you groom humans now, you groom dogs. Humans. Yeah. <laughs> you said humans. Uh, yeah. You couldn't even get that one I'm out. I'm sorry. My tongue is a little... Uh, my First tongue. of all, why the fuck is your tongue orange? Oh, I had Twizzlers on the way here. Same question. Those are red. <laughs> the fuck? Why are they orange? I don't know. That's a good question. Wait. Can you take a look at it? Good. Orange. <laughs> really? Orange. It looks like orange soda. What did I have that was orange today? Did you have an orange? No, I did. Well, the Twizzlers couldn't have done it because those are a completely different color. I'm a little worried now, but it's all right. I'll be okay. It was just Twizzlers. Oh, and I had a meal replacement shake this morning, so maybe that has something to do with it. Did, was it orange? It wasn't, <laughs> but maybe I don't know. More stuff that is an orange. You never, you never know. Did you find like a skittle on the floor in your car and eat it or something? No. Would you? Yes. I would if I. Uh, Yo, the rule is the Skittles? rule. Is, wait, the, here's the rule. Here's okay, the rule okay, about okay. candy. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out and buy a pack of Skittles because I'm not a huge Skittle guy. They're good. They're good. I'm not. I'm not downplaying them. But personally, yeah, not a big Skittle guy. Okay. All right. But if I find one on the floor, mm -hmm. I'm eating it. That's a weird rule, dude. That's a, no, but like, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the way You're it like, is. I won't go buy clean I ones. I won't go. No, but if I see dirty ones, I I'll won't pick those buy up. a pack of Swedish fish. But if I look on the floor and there's a Swedish fish in my car, I'm eating it. <laughs> Why is that your rule? Because it's just like, it's the convenience and like the, oh, the happenstance. It's stands. a dirty piece of candy, dude. It's, I mean, dirty. Let's use that term loosely. It's Let's like, use it directly. It's, it's a car no, floor. It's where like, the feet go. Yeah. You know where feet I know, go? Uh, and I where know do exactly. feet go usually? On the street in the world. Yes. The yes, dirty they world. Do. Yes, they do. But listen, Joey, it's candy. Germs don't affect candy the way that they do other food because of bacteria and stuff like that. Mm, you tried to, no, to no, make no, that no. scientific. I, I believe it is true. 
You believe it's <laughs> yes, true. Yes. A food like if you were to put like an apple on the floor, yeah, or a piece of candy, one of those is gonna rot way quicker. The apple, if it's half eaten. No, it'll it'll go pretty quick. Well, yeah, can, well, candy is not candy is like who? No, no, there's no bacteria that's just like, mm, let me get some of that good old fucking red dye number five. I think they are though. I don't know. I same thing with like fruit roll ups. I remember as clear as day in first grade. Do not say what you're about to say. Okay. You ate a fruit roll up off the ground. I'll do you one better. Not even off the ground. In a bathroom. I'll do you one better. Better than a bathroom. <laughs> What did you do? Basically a bathroom. It was in the closet of our first grade class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Miss D. Filippi's class. Miss D. Filippi's class. R.I.P.? Cl- I don't know. No, she's like... Really? I have no idea. She's cranking out. Fuck. She's got to be in her 90s, dude. She's got to be. Anyway, you went into the closet. Yeah, you remember those old wooden closets at the back of the room where you'd hang up your jacket in the beginning of the day? They had big fucking hooks. Big old fat hooks. They did. I remember going in there toward the end of the day, and there were like jackets on the floor, and on top of someone's jacket was an uh, was an open, removed from paper, fruit by the foot. What the fuck? And I was like, oh, Frankie, Frankie, is this, this a real is, story? Yes, I swear to God, I swear on my children's lives. You ate it? Of course I did. But why? <laughs> because it was there. I know, but like, it's it was clearly discarded. You know, like. You, removed from the package hey, Removed look at me. from the paper Hey bitch Look at me now I'm doing alright Okay <laughs> right, I'm I doing alright You're Let's... cheating death though I, You can't I, just go I, eating food off the ground Frank. I do have stomach issues And I'm not gonna confirm nor deny That maybe that had something to do with it Yeah because you're eating like a raccoon <laughs> Um You're eating garbage do, do you understand That I saw a fruit by the foot on the floor At, at seven years old You know how excited I was I, I, I get that But Frankie Food when it's in the air is food As soon as it hits the ground Garbage. Well, it was on t- my defense. It was on top of a jacket, so maybe an estranged was- jacket. Yeah, well, uh, oh, whose jacket could it have been? Who was real dirty in our first grade class? I think it were. <laughs> sure, okay. there was some dirty ah, children. The, 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 they're okay. We were all kids. We're all dirty. It was the '90s. No one gave a shit. All right, we were fucking living it up. You know, we had bigger fish to fry. Like what? Who's gonna trade me a fucking Alakazam? You know what I'm saying? That's a good Pokemon. I know it's a good Pokemon. Give me your fucking. Is that the one with the spoons? Uh, Kadabra is the one with the spoons. Oh. Uh, Alak Alakazam does he have spoons? I don't think so. I think they all had spoons. No, guys. Abra didn't have spoons. Kadabra. And what is that? Was that like a magician fox? Yeah, it was actually funny that I know this because it's absolutely useless for the rest of the world. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Kadabra was based off of, I believe it was like a popular English or uh, he was basically based off of a, a popular magician. So <laughs> Kadabra as a Pokemon card was not allowed in Pokemon TCG competitive play or, or, the, or the, the card game for years and years and years and it's recently come back. Why wasn't it allowed? Because it was copywriting, like they were having oh. fights with like the magician, like yo, those are my spoons. Oh, so the spoon wielding the spoon, magician yeah. was pissed off about Pokemon. Well, wouldn't you be if they were stealing your likeness? If there was a Pokemon that was called like, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I barely pay my workers enough, Don't. Amon, Don't. you know. <laughs> Wouldn't you be like, oh shit, that sounds a little targeted at me. I don't like it. I deserve some residuals from this multi-billion dollar company. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah. He's like, yo, dude, give me some of those Pokemon. But yeah, of course I was going to eat that, Joey. You're going to tell me, you're going to tell me you've never come across just a stray, just forgotten piece of candy in your house. And you just go, wait a sec. No, actually no. Oh, sorry, Mr. Fucking Health Guru over here. Why health can't we live all like you? Frankie, everyone knows you don't need food off the ground. That's not exclusive to me. I'm not, listen, if it was on the street, Joey, big difference. It was on a fucking first grade school closet floor. Frankie, schools are literally epicenters of disease. They, uh, they have become that. But when we were kids, we were fucking, you know, licking poles at recess. Like, we were living it up, baby. Who was licking poles at recess? I, I, was, I was playing handball and kickball, and you were licking poles. First of all, you weren't playing handball. You were playing ASS. Call it what it was, bitch. It was ASS. You, weren't play, you were never good enough to play handball. You had a little baby palms. Yeah. You had yeah. baby palms. Don't talk about my palms. Your palms are not cool. Shut up. Yeah. I got rad palms. <laughs> um, yeah. That, the cool kid over here, he's over there with his big palms eating food off the oh floor. Oh my God, and Joey. Poles. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We all want to be Mr. Fucking, you know, gym teacher fucking, you know, uh, jerk off material. That's what you were. 
That's exactly what you were. I was a cool kid. I was playing Coongies, playing Pokemon, and eating fucking stray candy. What sounds cooler than that? <laughs> I can't believe that story. Yeah, that. I, it, it's very, very, very true. Let me ask you a question, and I swear to God, if you lie, I'm going to be pissed off. Okay. But I hope that I know the answer. Okay. Have you ever, and don't you I, fucking I will be lie. very honest with you. I never lie to you on these shows. Okay, okay. Have you ever taken gum off the bottom of a desk and ate it? Uh, yeah, not, but listen, listen, oh, not, oh, not, no, 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 not as like a on purpose when my, my dad, my parents you accidentally took, listen to me, desk gum, listen to me. My parents told this story, uh, to us, like when we were like toddlers, like fucking like two and my brothers where I was like three and my brothers were one or wh whatever the age bracket, they couldn't take us to restaurants for years because we were such fucking nightmares as kids. Uh -huh. And my dad actively and my, my mom too tells the story of remembering us being at a restaurant and looking under the table and we were down there picking the gum off the bottom of the table and eating it <laughs> i hate that yeah well what's up <laughs> it's all right it's okay here God. we are gum they don't have gum on the bottom of tables anymore that's like a thing of the past. No one does Cigarettes that Cigarettes and gum, they're kind of like a thing of the past. Yeah, you know? no one, it's, life was better. I'm, all I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm not a smoker. Yeah. And I'm not a litterer. But life collectively was better. When there was more gum. When there was more gum on the bottom of desks and when cigarettes were just yeah. like being targeted to when kids. When you can blow some cigarette smoke into a baby's face. That was fun. Really cool. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, I'll, you, neither of your parents smoked, right? No. Holy, my dad smoked enough for all of our parents. <laughs> and I'm saying the collective all, like everyone that watches this. Yeah, I don't, I, I think that when, I know my dad has never smoked cigarettes, but I think my mom, when they were younger, may have. Oh, or weed, was, maybe. She, I'm sure your mom smoked weed. She was yeah, a child of the 70s, right? Yeah, yeah. But my, no, my dad never did anything. He well, your was dad like, was fucking like Mr. Athlete. Yeah, I guess. Um, I, I recently, you know what's so funny is I recently saw my uncle. And my uncle that That's knows... That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Guy saw his uncle. Let's lose our minds. No, no, no. no. It's my <laughs> uncle that that is good childhood friends with your uncle. Which uncle? We're going to start naming names. I'll, I'll throw them out there. I don't Who's care. Who's my uncle? Your uncle with the twins. Okay. And he they were good childhood friends. And every time I see him, he always asks about you. And you're and, and it's like, oh, you still working with the Shanigata? And I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> and he last time I saw him, he like skip the like pleasantries and like small talk of like hey how you doing how the kids he goes did you know how much of an athlete joe senior was <laughs> yeah and i was like uh i've i've heard he was like not like i'm telling you like the best <laughs> he talks like that too. no not really but oh, i was gonna for say my, for the sake of the story he does you're doing well thank you and i was just like oh yeah, no, I've heard. Did he say hi to you at least? Or he just Afterward, he was just like, so how's it going? You know, but like <laughs> really start let in with the talk about your dad. That's crazy. Which can't escape that man anywhere. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Anyway, uh, moving on. Let's switch some uh, gears. Can we, can we switch gears? Yeah, we can switch some gears. Yeah. Um, how do you switch gears? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> he went, oh. I don't know. I've never driven an... Uh, do you know how to drive stick? No. I tell you what. I did once, and I didn't know oh, how to I do Oh, I tried once, and it was bad for the person's <laughs> Ralph car. Ralph let me drive his car, and I... It's... Dude, I don't know what I did. I hate it. But he's like, all you gotta do is, like, the clutch and the thing, and I was like, okay, cool. And then I, we were on Dittmar's Boulevard. Uh-huh. On a very congested boulevard. <laughs> well, no, it was like 70-something street. Oh, okay. So, like, but it was like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's basically more a highway. Open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the light turns green. There's mad cars behind us. And I did something. It sounded like the bottom of the car just hit the ground. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. And then he just, like, did something. And then we started driving. I hate how, like, driving stick is like a, like, it, 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 it like, puts you in, like, a tier of, like, intellect above other people. It's also a European. It is really European. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. Automatic transmission, or what is it? Automatic gear switch? Or, or just automatic oh, transmission, I think. Watch this. That's how much I know. Automatic. Automatic. Way better than manual. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be sitting there and just fucking jerking my car off yeah, as I'm trying to drive. <laughs> That's like, what I'm saying. I got to slow down, jerk it off too? I, I think I've been, uh, there was a friend of mine in college who had a, uh, uh, you know, like a stick car. And we were driving, and he's just like, oh, I'm going to take this exit. And he yeah. went from 70 to 10 miles per hour and like 
fucking burned 150 calories while doing it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like that shit. Me neither. You got to be careful if you go to Europe and you're like renting a car. Oh, if, like if, you need if to make they sure. give you a car that's sick. It's like, well, uh, now I'm done. Oh, now uh, I mean that's YouTube, baby. You just pop that YouTube up and you figure it out. It's just hours. annoying. I wouldn't want to do it. There's like three pedals, clutch, brake, gas, and there's no parking. That's the other thing I learned. Well, eat. Yeah, you have to fucking the emergency brake yeah. to park. Fucking stupid. Why were old people <laughs> you know so the dumb? The story about when you know Pete from the neighborhood. Not there's my like three Pete. Pete's. No, little Pete. Petey. Yeah, Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was driving Ralph's car one time. Oh boy. <laughs> and it was like four by forty issue park. And he like let the emergency break down. Or I think Ralph was like, You drove sick before? And he's like, Yeah. Bro, he like undid the emergency brake and the car rolled and it hit the car in front of them. Mm -hmm. And then that car rolled and hit another car. And <laughs> I think it just kept happening. How fucked up is that? Jesus, I'd, be, I'd be so mad. Yeah, well, of course. I've done that. Not f oh, hit and run. You've committed a felony. Well, careful because I didn't hit I don't a know, human. I don't know what this. It doesn't matter, Joey. I didn't hit a car. I tapped a car and was like, well, this isn't a parking spot anymore. And I Joey, left. you instantly just turned this into a felony. Frank, it's all hearsay here. Do, do not. <laughs> do not say what you're going to say next. Just say it's a joke. This is a comedy podcast. I've killed a man. Okay. Well, or it could be that the statute of limitations is over. So go I next. just watched a movie. Have you? <laughs> Congratulations. You fucking dunce. Yeah. Okay. Walk me through it, big guy. How was it, champ? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I was trying to finish it. <laughs> trying I, to finish the movie? No, no, Very no. simple. <laughs> just leave it on. I watched a movie. Yeah. <laughs> you just reminded me of the lawyer thing. Have you seen it? It's called Primal Fear. It's old. Oh, uh, with Ed Norton. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that movie. I just watched it for the first time. It was a good movie. Yeah, very good. Who's the guy? Who's the hot guy? Uh, Far Gear? Is it Richard Gear? Is it Richard Gear? The one that had the gerbil up his ass. He had gerbils in his ass? There was a rumor. Wait, Pretty Woman. Richard Gere. Yeah. Ger yeah. He had gerbil in his ass? Rumor was that he liked gerbil play. That's terrifying. Why How would do you even go about How that? How does that not kill you, too, bro? Little, little gerbils scratching at your inside of holes. Dude, gerbils. Yep. I mean, I'm not a big stuff in my ass guy. I'm not, I'm not, not even a big. I would say I'm not at all a stuff in my ass guy. Yeah. Um, but the idea of like a little muscly character that's like fuzzy... Just kind of burrowing in and out of your butt. I could see why that would be sweet for people. What? Do you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know. You think that sounds good? If I were to be a butt guy, mm -hmm. like if I were to be like, so Yo. you would just be like top of the food chain because I, I think I, that like <laughs> bottom of the food chain. No, bitch. but I mean like you come into like the butt play, you know, whatever. You're like, I'm gonna skip thumbs. And dildos, I'm going right to animals. Is that what you're saying? I don't know if that's technically... Uh, why would we consider that a food chain thing? Who said food chain? You said food chain. I said food you chain? You said you're top of the food chain. <laughs> oh, I meant like, you know... You're going right for the fucking... The proverbial food chain. You're swinging for the fences. You don't yeah. want to start off hitting a couple singles. There are people who are into getting their butt touched and stuffed. Formed. Yeah. Yeah. But they're like, I'm not putting a gerbil in here. But I'm you not, would put a gerbil in here. No. I didn't say that. I'm not... Listen. That's what it felt like. No, I'm sure you can call it whatever you see. I am saying... <laughs> I, I am saying... Yeah. Another universe. You know, let's Doctor Strange this shit and we open up a parallel universe. There's a version of you that I'm loves I'm sure in getting... another universe... Well, take, I don't know why that hey, needs to be behind hey, it. Hey. I don't... I don't know why that needs to be behind it. I'm sure there's a version of us in the world yeah. that like butt play. Sure. But in this one, in this universe, right. not a butt guy. Right. Okay? But, you know, kind of dream walking into that version. I can see why people would like the idea of a gerbil. Okay. It's a small, muscly <laughs> rodent that is really <laughs> soft and furry, just kind of, you know, cleaning your pipes. I don't know about it cleaning anything. I think that it's like scratching. Yeah, that part. Well, you just, you're not worried about the. What if the gerbil just goes? You know what? I'm going this way. Yeah. Well, then you and got a keeps problem. Keeps going up. Yeah, you got a problem. You have a fat problem. You got a problem, or you can just take a couple laxatives. That thing will be out in a couple hours. Are you supposed to poop it out? I assume you like maybe like it's like in like those like 
horror movies where like you know they tie a rope to it and then you can like pull it out you can kind of give it like a nudge oh like they do with like astronauts where it's like yeah yeah where, or like the person's like i'm gonna go into the dark abyss and i'm tying this rope to me and yeah, if you feel a tug like, yeah two tugs pull yeah. me up yeah exactly there's yeah. never a tug there's never a tug because they get cut and they yeah. they get died exactly they All get right. died um we have ads. From gerbils to ads. Go for From it. From gerbils to, uh, you know, our sponsors for today. Uh, we do have a couple here. And once I pull them up, we have Stitch Fix. How, how you doing? There you go. If you want cool looking clothes like Frank, you're going to want to sign up for Stitch Fix. This isn't from Stitch Fix. Let's just make that very clear. It is very clear. Um, Stitch Fix is the easy way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll through options. All you have to do is answer a few questions about where you typically get your clothes from, what you like to wear, your price range. Uh, you know, your fit, like this and that. Um, and then they will start handpicking clothes for you. And they have over, over a thousand brands that you know and love. Okay. So it's not just like random, you know, off brand things. It is a thousand brands that you know. Um, and they'll just style you head to toe. So it's nice. It's a nice way to keep that your wardrobe fresh. We're getting to the change of seasons now. It's a little colder. So you're going to come into autumn. And this is like prime fashion. You know what I mean? You can start layering stuff. It look real nice. So uh, go get yourself some Stitch Fix. Uh, right now they're offering $20 off of your first fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. Uh, that is stitchfix.com slash basement for $20 off today. Spelled S-T-I-T-C-H-F-I-X dot com slash basement. So get to it, folks, if you want to look fresh this autumn or fall. Don't know the difference between those seasons. I think they're interchangeable. Yeah, no difference. Awesome. Uh, and we also have Rocket Money. Uh, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that will find and cancel unwanted subscriptions. They'll help you budget. They'll uh, help lower your bills. Basically, put a bunch of money back in your pocket, okay? Keeps you financially sane because there's a lot of times where people will sign up for subscriptions or things or you know you sign up for a free trial and you accidentally are paying for it now and you have no idea it helps you identify those things and cancels them um, so you can put more money into your pocket okay uh, so why would you not do it I mean it also proof is in the pudding over 3 million people have used rocket money and saving the average person they save the average person up to $720 a year that's wild so I would rather have 720 more dollars uh, in my pocket um, so go check them out. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage, manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That's rocketmoney.com slash basement. Okay, so go put some more money in your pocket. $720? That's like a nice flight somewhere. So rocketmoney.com slash basement. Get to it. And folks, not only am I going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you about something that is, oh, just the best. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Every week we tell you about it. And we are so grateful, thankful, just 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 jellied because you got us to over 26,000. <laughs> and we want to keep crushing, keep moving right on over to 27, 28, 29, 30. Hey, maybe even 50 one day. You never know. It's crazy. It's raunchy. It's raw. That's where you're going to get more of us, more of the basement boys. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. You sign up for that first tier. Well, these weekly episodes are giving you one week, six days, maybe even seven before everybody else. And then that next tier, ooh, ooh, that's where you get exclusive episodes every single Friday. Now listen, if you want something that's a little chaos, you want something that's a little order, you want something that's a little crazy, just blood and guts, maybe you'll get that on Patreon. <laughs> I can't confirm nor deny. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you to our friends. And we're looking forward to you guys coming back over. Why do you keep looking at me like that? I don't, what, do you, what am I doing? You're looking at me like, I know you, you like kind of, judge me on how I do that little plug no, I there don't. for Patreon. It's okay. First of all, I was looking at the time because there's a glare from this thing. I just wanted to know how much time. Oh, uh, you want me to move it a little bit? No. Okay, bitch. I was just checking. Joey, I don't know if you know this. Yeah. But pretty much the biggest story in the world right now is the new it couple of Travis Kelsey oh, and yeah. Taylor Swift. Yeah. The world is collectively losing its minds. Bro. You have the Swifties. Yep. You have the Kelsey. What do we call the Kelsey fans? Chief Kingdom. Chief Kingdom. But it's not just the Chief King. It's all. It's it's really kind of like NFL fans are kind of reveling in this a little bit. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's the biggest thing in the world. I I never understood. I did not get how famous she actually was. And also, did this come out of fucking nowhere? Bro, that's my point exactly. Listen, I've always... First of all, Taylor Swift has been around for like 15 years. Also, I... 
pretty sure that this year, I'm being serious when I say this. When I get my Spotify wrapped, I'm pretty sure she's going to be my most listened to artist. Good for you. I Love I don't. I, I'll be honest with you. I really know maybe like three, four songs. From I Taylor know Swift. fucking all of them. Good. Been around forever. Obviously, been a consistent star. Yeah, bro. As of like May, yeah. she was the fucking Beatles. She was Michael Crazy. Jackson. She was the biggest star on the planet. And. All due respect, I'm not saying that she shouldn't be, but it just seemed like it came out of nowhere. Am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, I think that, like, she, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I agree. I think that, like, she's always been a huge star, but then I was like, wait, what the fuck? And the, the, the Swifties, as a collective group, have become, like, the second most powerful, like, group of people on the internet behind people like uh, like Anonymous Like or Anonymous, something. yeah. I was going to say, like, the, the Pentagram. Pentagram? <laughs> Pentagon, dude. The Pentaverit, you mean? No, who's the Pentaverit? Oh, I'm not going to get into that. Go ask Mike Myers about that. What is that? Is that, like, the elites who are, like, Yeah, there's, like, a, th there's like a, a conspiracy that, like, the Pentaverit are, like, five leaders of, like, every major, like, sector of the world that come together, and they're, like, lizard people and all that stuff. Yeah. That'd be fire, dude. I don't, anyone out there who's a lizard and, or Illuminati, I want to I be a part of this. Whoa, 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 chill, dude. You got friends and family you don't want dead. Why do they have to die? Because they, they're like, oh, you want in? Okay. Here, pick one of these five people you need to murder right now. You cool with that? No. What if I'm on that? More importantly, yeah. what if I'm all of it? What does that mean? What if I'm on it? Like, uh, I would be honored. But what if they're like, you have to kill Frankie to be rich and famous? Oh, no. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. I just want to, like, know a lizard. That would be pretty cool. I can teach you. Uh, you know, there's some lizard people in Mortal Kombat if you want to learn. I oh, yeah. What's his name? Reptile. But his real name is Size Off of the Zaterans. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Size Off? Yeah. Beautiful name. Really cool guy. Actually, they made him, like, I'll show you a picture after. It's really sick in the new one. Oh, it's okay. Um, but Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, kind of, I tweeted this. I was like, I can't, or X'd it, or whatever, now. I tweeted it. It's all uh, right. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Freedom of speech. What, bitch? <laughs> that was for him. Um, but I was like, I, it's crazy how Taylor Swift going to that game just flipped the world upside down and the NFL. Like, they only talked about that. And this is, this, like, two days after the fucking dolphin scored 70 no it was the same night oh it was that it night. was that night yeah I, it's like that came and went like a historic Bro, thing we for, yeah exactly we literally forgot about the dolphins game and everyone just immediate and i have to say like, she's gonna be at the jets game this sunday yeah uh oh boy i might have to go up dude go maybe i don't know uh but Go watch the jets get beat by 400 points <laughs> yeah it's not that's what's good. going it's, to happen i mean our defense put it, he kept us in the game last week don't even fucking sit there it's Ooh. just because zach wilson is fucking his dick for hands yeah yeah he's not yet um i feel bad he seems like a nice boy but the guy maybe also frat star possibly Could but be. i just it like literally turned the like the world on its head like his jerseys went up by like 300 percent. 400 yeah wild crazy everyone now and i don't know if you saw there's like things coming out that's like they wrote a cheat sheet for taylor swift to understand football yeah i believe that i i, I mean yeah okay if you don't get it you want to learn it okay good that's the way it, i don't know why people are like well she, she should learn like no she, that's how that's how you learn fuck yeah i just what are we calling the name of this couple Swelsey? Cowslift? Gift. Gift? <laughs> I don't G know. Gift? Ta ta Taylor. Ta ta Taylor. Taylorus. Taylorus Kelsfifties. Ta Tavis. Tavis. Tavis? Avis? I don't like that. Oh, those are rental cars. But we did have Ben and J-Lo were Benjamin. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> what were they? Baylo? What were they called? Who? J-Lo ben and Ben? Ben Affleck. They were Ben... J... Ben... F what were they? They, they were like a very famous one. Ben Benjo. Benjo? A banjo? <laughs> Wait, what were they? J Lo and Ben. I said Benjo. <laughs> Benjamin. B uh, ba Baffleck? No, that's him. Uh, <laughs> Af Lopez? No. What the hell? What? <laughs> Don't look it up. We're going to get to this. <laughs> we're not, dude. You know, you kind of look like Travis Kelsey a little bit. But when you do like your squinty smile? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, at the, look at the camera. Well, don't do that. <laughs> Taylor, throw a couple bucks my way. I mean, or both. no, just tickets, dude. They're, they're, they're both doing very well financially. I think yeah. they're okay. No, you know, no, I said throw a couple bucks my way. Benefer, got it. That was it. Found it. Good job. I, that would have killed me. That literally would have killed me. I, that one just flew out of my mouth. I also, Benefer, not good. That's not that bad. 
Who was what was a uh, Brad Pitt? Oh, Brangelina. Brangelina. Brangel- Not as Brangelina? cool. Brangelina. Benefer is way cooler. Benefer. So what is this one going to be? So Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. So it's trailer. <laughs> trailer. The trailers are here. The trailer. Trailer Swiftly. Trailer. Yeah, Swift. Swiftly. Kelsey? I think it's just first name. Yeah, I think we can just call them by individuals. The their, their identity is not tied to who they're dating. It's okay. Beautiful, Frank. You like that, right? Yeah, good job. Way to be like... Inclusive. I like to make sure that people remember that I'm not a piece of shit. Well, I don't think that's inclusive. I think that it's like, you know... Oh, I think something like that is very inclusive. Because okay. people sometimes feel that once they date someone, their entire, you know, fucking personality and, and, and identity is tied to who that individual was and yeah. who that individual is and the, commu- and the joint effort in which they put into the relationship. And it's not. They are still individuals. I agree with you. All right. Um... Remember when you said you didn't support women's suffrage because <laughs> you didn't know what it was? No, stop that. <laughs> hey, stop, stop what you're doing. You I that. was confused, and I said I was confused by the name of the word. Because you say you think it's a gray area. It's like confusing. No, 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 no. I obviously support the right to vote. I support women's suffrage, yeah. Joey. I just – it's too close to suffering for me. Yeah. So, like, if someone would be like, well, do you support women's suffering? I'd be like, oh, of course. And they'd be like, gotcha. And I didn't want that to you happen. You want them to suffer. I didn't want – no, I don't. I don't want but anyone – you do want them to hurt. No. <laughs> <laughs> What, where is that coming from? I don't know. It's fun. Um, but speaking of women possibly getting hurt, uh, Britney Spears put on oh, a oh shit qu- quiet yeah, performance. Was, was like, where the fuck is this going? Yeah, no. Uh, we <laughs> Frankie just made me watch the video before we started the podcast. But uh, Britney Spears, she's known to boogie. Uh, I mean, you could put it like that. If she's you known to boogie in her own house. Uh. And I'll say, like, listen, love Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. One of the greatest songs probably ever. What pop songs, rather? What music catalog you'd taken? Britney Spears, Taylor Swift. Bro, I'm taking Taylor Swift. Really? Yeah, there's so many more well, songs. Bro, fucking Spears ran so Swift could walk, you know? Yeah, I'm not saying that. I just want to make that very clear. Yeah, of course. The, she's the OG. The, the, but, but Taylor Swift's got a wild catalog. I mean, you could say Madonna's the OG, but we're not going to get here or there. I, yeah, I know, and I don't know. I don't or know. even Stevie Nicks. You can go back farther than that if you choose. Was that pop? Stevie Nicks? I mean, no, but she was just kind of like a bigger, larger-than-life female music icon. Sure. You want to trace it all the way back to Cleopatra? <laughs> like, what do you want to do? <laughs> okay, so you're taking Taylor Swift's music catalog over Britney Spears? Yeah, definitely. I don't know enough about Taylor Swift, but Britney Spears. Dude. I know, it's Britney Spears. What are what are Spears's like? What? F- what's her fandom? We have the Swifties and what oh, is dude, the, the Spear? Oh, dude, don't get started on this. Oh. I don't know. I think it's just like this. Probably the Spearheads. Is that like? Yeah, not good to say. There was another. I'm gonna stop you before you say it. Spear. Stop, because what? there's another like insensitive terminology that's used with the word spear that let's just not even like play around with. Don't. I'll tell I you don't about, know it. I'll t- okay, good. I'll tell you about it after. Is it a, like Native American stuff? It's a, yeah, I believe it's a derogatory term used for people of color, specifically black people. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Good. Uh, but I, I uh, but yeah, so fucking Britney Spears was in our house doing a little dance for Instagram or whatever. She does quite frequently. But this time, she grabbed two big old knives. Big old fat fucking kitchen knives. Yeah, she's got yeah, and she was she was just kind of like <laughs> she was going she was doing like she was going all over, she, and I think it was like blades in. Yeah, a little it was, scary. It wasn't safe. I'll say this though, time of the year to do it is right now. We are in prime spoopy season. It is scary. Ha- Halloween is upon us. Halloween season. Halloweezin, as we would say. I, we wouldn't. We would, and. If there's a time to invoke, you know, the, the like, scary, spooky dancing, right. it's now. Right. I was a little worried watching that. Yeah, she could have cut her whole head off. At, I like, mean, she's a trained dancer, so maybe we're just overreacting. Yeah, but she's not a knife dancer. How do we know? We don't. You've been to every Britney Spears show? I've never been to a Britney Spears show. Oh, well, there you go. So how do you know she doesn't dance with knives up there? I don't. I know she dances with snakes. What's more dangerous, a knife or a snake? I know the answer. What is it? Snake. It's got to be, right? Throw a knife in that corner, throw a snake in that corner. What's, what are you more afraid of? Yeah. Know what I'm saying? What yeah. do you get? You know? 
you had nothing to add, but you nope, what do you it. you know? No, that's, that's <laughs> it. Um, this is alarming. And I want to say this. I love Britney Spears, but I don't know what's going on. There's a whole, bro, there's a whole conspiracy that I have not even. I know. It's like she was dead. Dipped my foot in the water. I've it seen is. so many of those. Bro, and it's like, it's like the, she's been like photoshopped by her ex boyfriend and she's like a fake hand. And, and like he uses like, like voice recordings of her and shit like that. Right. I just. I just want to make sure she's okay. Yeah, we want to know that she's good. Maybe maybe the video was her saying like... like oh, some sort of knife Morse code. I will fucking cut... Yeah, like I will fucking cut... Like maybe she was spelling stuff out. Yeah, like I'm... Come help me. Well, may, maybe. Or just saying like, come closer. Maybe like her boyfriend was behind the camera and she was just like... Excuse me. And she was like... Mm -hmm. Just like telling him like... like fucking, the airport stuff. Like, don't yeah she's trying to like land him out guide out of her him life. out of her life are they still together i don't think so oh i think there's a whole lot going on i'm not quite sure but that knife that you're going to tell me yeah first of all she could work at a like a hibachi still got it what's yeah. this shit called yeah hibachi absolutely hibachi no but isn't there another name for the what's the place called is it called hibachi when they like cook on the stove yeah what's that shit called hibachi joey it's no. just hibachi. No, wasn't there? There's another name. Welcome back down to earth, Joey. The normal people. It's called hibachi. You fucking elitist <laughs> pig. Is it? Yeah. But the the place, hibachi. <laughs> I believe it's named after the cooking style of hibachi. I don't. That doesn't feel right. I don't care. Because <laughs> it is right, Joey. I have to look this up. When's the last time you went to hibachi? Well, I went. I've only been one time. <gasps> I went last year. I used to hibachi it up, boy. In college, there was a spot by us. As you're looking something up, there's a spot by us that would always, uh, uh, like, I think I told the story recently. Like, they would give us, like, half off. It was like half Benny price. Hanna, you dumb bitch. That's a chain. And it's not That's even. That's what I was saying. And Benny Hanna, I don't even think is hibachi, is it? Oh, no, it is. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. I, I, I would confuse them with P.F. Chang's. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, hibachi is great. Go to it. Benny let's, Hanna. Let's go to Hibachi. Let's have a studio outing to Hibachi, and I can show you. I can cook. I can cook back there. Oh, you're going to put the hat on? I did. You would do that. I did. Hold on. We're going to get to that. I want to talk about that. I want to expand on that. Go, go, go ahead and make it an expansive conversation. But we do have some sponsors for today. Uh, we have Simply Safe. Keep your home safe, ladies and gentlemen. You got a home. You got a lot of stuff in it. You're going to want to keep it safe. Frank does. Look do, at him. I do. I got it. And it's a very safe home. There you go. And it doesn't take much time to set up either. It's an easy setup, uh, but you will have 24-7 live guard protection, okay? It's designed to help stop crime in real time. Uh, you can get the new smart uh, the new smart alarm indoor camera. Uh, it's the only indoor security camera that can trigger the alarm and instantly deter intruders with a built-in siren. Uh, it has a physical privacy shutter to provide protection when you need it and privacy when you want it. Um, there's a bunch of things, dude. And you can... You can Install it in 30 minutes. So it's easy to set up. It's not this big elaborate thing, blah, blah, blah. But it does keep your home safe. Uh, and it is great. And for a limited time, you can get 20% off of your new system when you sign up at for uh, when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Uh, you just visit simplysafe.com slash basement. That is simplysafe.com slash basement, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash basement. There's no safe like Simply Safe, folks. Uh, so go out there and secure your stuff. Uh, and lastly, here we have SeatGeek. We were just talking about football games or concerts or whatnot. You can get all of that on the SeatGeek app. Uh, over 28 million downloads. It's the number one rated ticketing app. Um, I love SeatGeek. Been using them for years. Anytime I buy tickets to anything, um, I always do it through SeatGeek because I love their interface. I love the fact that everything, all the tickets are color coded. So if it's a dark green ticket, I know that I'm getting this for a good price. And if it's a dark red one, then I should stay away. So it's really nice. Um, and yeah, you guys should get out there before it gets too cold and frigid out there. You should go and enjoy yourself at some sort of event outside that requires a ticket through Seeky. Uh, and you can get $20 off your first purchase with the promo code BASEMENT. So go download the Seeky app, use the code BASEMENT, get $20 off of tickets. Uh, make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Uh, and yeah, and use that code BASEMENT. $20 off your first purchase on the Seeky app, all right? So go out there and enjoy yourselves, folks. Boom. Love it. Um, what were we just talking about? Um, oh, hibachi. 
The times I used to get so drunk at hibachi in college, and we would ask. Do the sake, and he blows sake in your mouth. Dude, I would drink. I swear to God, bottles. He would. He. You would be sucking all the sake. Dude, a lot. Like we would get blacked out drunk. I've told the story many times when my grandma died, and I had to get found by my friend. Um, <laughs> had to get found. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but one time we were I, we were really really drunk behind. And at a hibachi And the guy was, was it Benihana? No It was just like a Local name one Okay And the guy was like Who wants to And I was like I do Yeah And he would always do the thing Where he would put oil down Light it on fire Do the volcano And what he would do Is he would take two fingers Real quick Go like that And light the volcano Hot oil? Hot oil On your fingers On your fingers Dangerous? Very And I was like Oh I can do that And he was like Okay Come on And I was like <laughs> Is that I feel like that's not legal <laughs> oh, definitely not. Yeah, go ahead. Burn yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. 2012. Who yeah. The fuck? No laws back in 2012. It's true. And uh, I was like, all right. And I was already blacked out. We would pregame hibachi. That's how much fun we would have. <laughs> and uh, I went and I went, okay. With your full hand? Full hand. Burnt my whole hand. No. Bad, yeah. Like, I, I wasn't able to, like, I had no, like, fucking, like, ridge or finger. Did you scream? No, because I was so drunk. But it hurt for the rest of the day bad. So you went like this, and then did you do the thing? Yeah, it didn't even work. Perfect. It just fuck, I just so fucked just up my burnt hand. I just fucked up my whole hand, yeah. And then did you eat after that? So oh, of had course. Burnt... I was still drunk, and I felt it as I started coming down, you know? So everyone got their food cooked on top of your burnt skin. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? Didn't even think about that. They definitely did. Yeah. Yeah. The burnt skin in which you used to pick up dirty candy all over the ground. Listen, man, if I'm nothing else, I'm consistent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know how that makes you consistent. It definitely makes me consistent. Both of those things make you seem dumb. Oh, oh, tell me about how fucking high and mighty you are, bitch. <laughs> you talk to me in these ways that are so fucking demeaning, disrespectful, and I get so incredulous at the way that you fucking speak oh, to use me. Use bigger words. That'll help you. Hmm. I don't need to you use You eat garbage words. off the ground like a raccoon, and you've burnt your hand at Benihana. Because you, you did, did you wear the hat, by the way? I did. I put, did you try to flick it into the hat? I did, I did. Did it get in the hat? No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. No, it did not. I feel like that's not that hard. I'm getting a phone call. Oh, your oh, his wrist is getting a phone call. Oh, what is your <laughs> my fucking? I can take phone calls on my wrist. What can yours do? Nothing. You fucking peaceless piece of shit. Peaceless. Yeah, where's your piece? You ain't got no piece on. <laughs> what do you mean? Where's your Where's your watch? Where's my piece? Yeah, isn't that a gun? Well, yeah. What's more dangerous? What's more dangerous, a gun or a Rolex? Why did you say it like that? I was me being like a super like, you know, philosophical. Yes, 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 yes. Did I do good? No. Got to say, I don't know if you saw this morning. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We lost a real one today. Who? Fucking Michael Gambone. Michael Gambone. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Dumbledore. Michael, hold on. Dumbledore's name is fucking Michael Gambone? I believe so, yeah. Bro, Michael Gambon. That guy sounds like a mafia guy. Uh, well, he was he oh, was yeah. he was the Dumbledore. Head of Dumbon, he was the head of the fucking Hogwarts. He was. You know, we lost him. Damn, dude. Guy's gone, dude. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna be fully honest with you. Thought that dude been dead. <laughs> oh well, the original one was dead. Richard Harris. Yeah, he died immediately. Though. I think Richard. He died Harris halfway into the first movie. Into the second movie. Got it. He, he saw he saw that basilisk and he thought it was real and he was like, I'm out. Yeah, he's like, chill. He, he couldn't deal with this shit. Yeah. I do like the second Dumbledore more. He's like, than I the can't first. handle all the sexual tension between Ron oh, and. Oh, and the second one was like, all right, motherfucker, here I am. Let's fucking square yeah, up. Yeah. He was ready. He was ready to like fucking like, you know, like. Isn't that crazy? I love I loved the, the second first, one. The first Dumbledore was, ba there's dust coming out of his Basically. mouth. Basically. He's like, oh, damn, punch. It's like, get this, get this guy in a bed. Yeah, bro, it, it literally was like, oh, give it all. Ten punch. Yeah, that's, that's really that's really good. Yeah, he's like, and the second extreme one, bravery. The second one, Potter, was no. I guess that's more yeah, Snape. That's more, that's Snaping. more Snaping. You're Snaping right there. Uh, uh, but he was he was more like he was more like he had like power behind him. Like you yeah. knew not to fuck with him. That first one, that old senile bastard. Yeah. I would have fucking tripped him up if I was a, a student at Hogwarts. He could barely lift his wand. He was like, Ugh. yeah, and then, and then and then like fucking thug Dumbledore Gambon. Yeah, Michael Gambon. He was out there and he was just like fucking whoop. Yeah, you know, was, like he, he was, was firing them off. He was a limber old dude. He was also gay. Remember that? Remember what? Uh, Dumbledore's gay. 
Oh. Afterward, J.K. Rowling. I thought Rowling, he meant Gambone was gay. Oh, I don't know. He could be, but the Dumbledore character. Yeah. Afterward, J.K. Rowling was just like, oh, he's gay, by the way. Son's gay. Make, uh, my, my opinion makes him cooler. I Why? Because I don't want some fucking straighty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to fucking. Wizardry is probably a little gay, right? I mean, you see how they flick those wrists? Yeah, it's like you oh. see those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Absolutely, so you need a little flair. Also, who's a straight? We got nothing. Yeah, We're just listen. like we'd be like this. We'd be like um, Avada Kedavra. <laughs> The fucking here we go. You know, I'd be too nervous. Well, to like, Wingardium Levioso. I guess. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know. The fucking like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, there, you saw good. he did that one too. Where he like I know, fucking, bro. I know they whip it around. Dude, he fucked that Wizardry shit up. Wizardry is gay. And think about this, right? The straightest person in that entire series was Robert Pattinson in that one movie, and he fucking died. And they bro. killed him off quick. <laughs> like, you yeah, just, you just all don't the girls liked him, there. and they were like, "Oh yeah, fucking bang." Yeah, all the girls were like, "Oh my god, he's so hot," and they were like, "Dude, fucking fuck that guy," <laughs> <laughs> and he was killed by the littlest little fucking, you know, like who killed him? Uh, Wormtail, I believe. Who's that? Oh, the little rat dude. The little rat bitch. Oh, the fuck, Peter Pettigrew. The Peter Pettigrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Peter yeah. Pettigrew. And he did it like no, like so not. He's just like kill him. He's like pow. Yeah, and he's gone. Sorry, spoiler. I don't know. Kill him! It's 20-year-old movies. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you guys. Yeah. You know, go watch it anyway. Uh, all nine? Eight? Nine? Well, uh, first of all, I'm doing that this year without a doubt. Oh, you have to. Every year you got to. Especially now. We got to light our fucking... Light our wands. And light oh. our wands to the sky for our boy. <sighs> that movie is so good. I love Hogwarts shit. I love Harry Potter shit. Dude, it's so good. But, like, you're right. The heteros wouldn't be good wizards because we'd just be like, um... Fucking... Also, Alohomora, what's up? Yeah, right. And like, you need a little like, you need some flair, need some flair, some flagrancy. You know yeah, I mean? that's why you're right, man. The fucking pow, like, yeah, that comes and better. Like, also, bro, fucking Voldemort, the way he holds his fucking wand, the best. I I know you said you didn't like it. I love that shit. This is how you hold a champagne, like a wine glass, a wine, a this champagne is, flute. Yeah, he's like, hmm. yeah. Look at the legs on this. But you, you, like. I'd hold it like fucking you would. You would hold it like that because you're a fucking idiot. loser. Yeah, <laughs> I would hold it like fucking sick. You know, like I would be like, I would do some shit where I'd be like that. You know, where I'd be like fucking like. <laughs> yeah, dude, you drop. You'll drop your wand. Drop my wand. Look at this. Look at how tight that is. Look at that. Try to pull that out. You yeah, that ain't going nowhere. You would be like this. Oh, oh, I can't see in the dark. Lumos. Oh. It's a good spell. That is a pretty good spell. It's a good spell. But this, or or even like a, like a, I'd hold mine like a cigarette. <laughs> you, you know? just sit there like this. It's, it's like, like smoking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Just ash my fucking Lumos over at you. The girl walks by with big tits. You're like, Revelia. <laughs> Uh, oh shit! Fucking Lumos, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. We're idiots. What, um, we're I'm, also best friends, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the memories we're gonna have forever. I would love to ride a hippogriff. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks like the best animal ever made ever. Very scary though. Hurra, hurra. Again, the winds. That, that wasn't the bad. The winds. I said the wings. I mean, big wings. Big fat. When you Wings. did you get to the part in the game where you can ride it? Bro, I beat the game. Oh, okay. I haven't beaten it yet. I still have like side missions yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. to do, but I beat the game. That shit is sick, dude. Bro, the last mission took me a while. Yeah, all right. I might. I have had to, to go back. Too. You learn any death spells? I've learned all of them because I'm a fucking. <laughs> yeah, me too, you dude. mean the cursed spells? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Crucio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck. It's that. like, yo, if we do this, it's dangerous. I was like, yeah. Fuck <laughs> oh that. yeah, really? Watch this, fucking curse. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's fun. I, I would like a, I'd like a hippogriff. Oh, dude, I wish I was a wizard so bad. You know how bad I wish I can fly in a broom too? Dude, I just think about that Just fucking kick off the constantly. ground and just take my Nimbus and just go right home. Dude, I think about that fucking constantly. Yeah. Where I'm like, bro, if I just had a fucking broom, I could literally just like, I wouldn't, I mean, obviously you wouldn't need a car. Definitely But wouldn't. like, I could just walk outside my window with a broom. I wouldn't even walk. I'd get jump off the windowsill and fucking you're there. Yeah, yeah, that'd be so sick. Or but. you jump off when you're not on a broom, and then you land on the broom and go. When he does that, and it just fucking <laughs> slides in under you, that's no, gotta no. hurt though. Yeah, it's gotta hurt your. That's gotta hurt your big bangles. Yeah, it does. I, I don't know if that would be a good idea. Well, you do a little spell like make hardened ball, uh, balls or whatever, you know. There was that spell, like you, or I could do Polyjuice Potion, so I could look like you, have tiny balls, and then I could that thing wouldn't fucking <laughs> that wouldn't hurt me at all. 
That's all I got to do. Little bald Joe. A lot of people don't know this about him. Medium dick, balls, tiny. <laughs> First of all, untrue. No, it's not. And who says that? Show your balls then. Oh, that's that's how prove I'm me prove wrong. Them. Exactly. I'm gonna put my balls out. Exactly. I have fantastic balls. No, it's, you're sounding a little fantastic. De- balls. Sounding a little defensive of your balls. Well, I'm being accused at. <laughs> I have to defend. Oh yeah, you sound, accusations. You sound a little flustered here, Joey. Are you no, okay? No, no, no. I got hit by a car, Frank. Give me you a did, second. You did get hit by a car. You did. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Full circle. That wouldn't have happened if you were on a hippogriff. If or if I was on a fucking broom. Oh, if you were on a broom, you wouldn't have got hit. Damn. But you are susceptible to spells. Remember the one that uh Oh he was cursing him in the first, in one? The first one. And it was shaking him. Well, yeah. He was hanging off a bit like this. <laughs> and then it fucking you see Snape like, yeah, he's like and Hermione he's fucking ig- Igneo. Was Isn't that, that what she did? Saying? I think it was. Yeah. The Igneo is a fire one. No, inflamare. Is that what it is? Inflamare? Now, now I have to look this shit up. I think it's inflamare, bro. Now I have to look it up. Someone someone just responded because I tweeted, you know, sad. And someone just responded with a picture of him. <laughs> just like, yeah, I know who he's I know who he <laughs> That's was. That's him? Yeah. Oh dude, he looks Harry way cooler. Harry Potter spells. It's in inflamare. The seven oh there's seventy seven? Why does this bring me to Oprah Daily? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lock one? Alohamora. 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 Alright, so there's um Oh, but there's also Aberto. That's also open lock doors. Doesn't make sense. Aberto. Akio. Akio. That's uh, come here. Yeah, bitch. Aki. Uh, yeah, okay, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Alohimora. Alohimora. Aguamenti. Something with water. water. Yeah. Something watery. Uh, uh, there's a bunch in here. Apparate. Aperol spritzes. You can make an Aperol spritz. No. I don't no, know. Apparate when they go fucking. Oh. And they like that's show fire, up. dude. Yeah, super sick. Uh, Ascendio. Oh my God, teleporting. Dude, I know. Flu flu powder. You know how cool it would be to just stand in a fireplace and just fucking bang and you're somewhere else? Dude, you know you've seen like ninjas and like magicians do that thing? So bad. I want to do it so bad. When I was younger, I would I would just daydream about being able to throw some smoke down and disappear. Oh my god, so bad. He's the coolest thing in the world. Why is disappearing so cool? Um, I, I'm pretty... It's you just it's cool. I don't know how else to explain it. Oh, it's so cool. Um, yeah, I can't find the fire one here. I think it's Incendio. In the game, it is. In the movie, she says... Conjures flames. Yeah, Incendio. Yeah. yeah. In, the, in the game, it's like that. But in the movie, she says Inflamare. Or Inflamaro. Fucking... I don't know. Fucking teacher's pet. What's the, what's the thing that she pulls out of the pot and screams? Oh, the, the little... The little... Oh, screamy bitch. Boggart? No, that's, that's something else. Right. The, little, the little... Yo, you know he didn't get enough airtime to do the captain of the team? Whatever happened to that guy? Oh, uh, don't know. Don't care. You don't remember him? Got, you know, no, I, I do. These are seekers. <laughs> Potter. Potter. All right, Potter. These yeah. little... Ma- these, what is he called? Bludgers. These little... Yeah, there's... He's nasty one. Yeah, and he like catches it. <laughs> puts it in the thing. Why also are, kind of why fire. Are you so good at pantomiming and doing <laughs> impressions of this whole movie? I love Harry Potter, dude. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I get it. Wild oh God! Like, this has become a Harry oh. Potter stand fest. Yeah, I don't know how long we've been I'm doing cool Harry Potter. <laughs> cool. I'm totally cool with that. I don't care. <laughs> we're just gonna do the movie. I do think we're onto something though about the wizards being better as gay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because what would you? you uh, straight wizards would not be fun. Everyone needs a little flair in their life. You know what I'm saying? Ron was straight. Yeah, but like. He, he was like, redheaded, so he had something else going for him. We had, he also was like, you know, a coward. Oh, no, he came around. He did come around. He actually, around. he also came around in the first movie. That's actually... You want to stop Snape from getting that stone and not... <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's You're it. so not, good at this. Not me. Not, not me. Not, not my me. You. Yeah. Fire. Do you remember when Keith... No, you can't! Well, we, Jesus Christ. That's what she says. When we, when we were younger, Keith... Resembled Harry Potter so much he The did. glasses he really The did. hair And anytime we would be like Playing football Playing basketball Anything If Keith <laughs> did anything Even remotely athletic I would stop in the middle of, Or someone would stop Mostly me Let's be honest Yeah In the middle of what we were doing We would go 10 points for <laughs> Gryffindor <laughs> Just boys being boys Just boys being boys Boys being boys I don't know if you remember this part specifically But for some reason It always sticks out in my mind During that first Quidditch match 
when the, the dude who's keeping score, when he presses the button to to like, you know, like when they score and he presses the button, I'm like, I love that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Like the the, like the, the I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. There are a lot of movies like that where it's like the movie I like, but it's also because of like the sound of like the props. The little thing. Yeah, like the you've seen the mask with Jim Carrey, also right? Really, yes. And I like when he stabs the book. Oh, and, and it's fucking. Like, and then it's like wet. It's like wet. It gets yeah. wet. Oh, oh, I love that shit. Such good, good guys. Do me a favor. If you've never watched them, perfect. Watch the Harry Potter. It's perfect like, Halloween it slash yeah. Christmas movies. Right. Literally perfect. Happy Christmas. No, 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 no. I don't like that. They're British. Happy Christmas, Ron. What were you gonna say? Happy about the Christmas, mask? Ari. Ari. What was I gonna say? Oh, and what the mask, mask. Like for some reason, at the beginning of the movie, when he when the the diver finds the mask in a chest underwater. Yeah. This it is like such a comfort. Like it's like ultimate ASMR for me, and it makes me feel like a kid again. When like. It's like the sound of the pebbles underwater, like mm. kind of like like kind of like chalk chalk chalking in a way, <laughs> you know. It's such a like, like in a fish tank almost. Almost, but but they're like they're rounded rocks. river rocks, and, yeah. And like it's just such a comforting sound. I like that sound too. Oh god, it's so. good. I also liked how in that movie, like the mask like shines real quick. You know what I would be interested? In? There's a show. I'm pretty sure it's on. Oh, it was either on Hulu. It might be on Max now, but it's a trivia game, a Harry Potter trivia game. Mm. And I would be interested to see how you do because I think you would do well. I think I would do well, but there's also some psychotic. No, no, no. Stuff. But it's I'm not talking like I don't think it gets into like what was the color of Ari's socks in season four. Yeah. I think it's just like you know like oh who's the character that said this? Yeah, yeah. I think you would do okay. I in think it. so, dude. Oh, man, I fucking love those movies. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Ari Potter. Oh, I just love the absolute dripping fucking. Insensitive racism that Draco Malfoy says his name with. Potter. Potter. It's like, damn, dude. Oh, uh, a fancy game, Potter. Yeah, it feels like the, the mud blood. Oh, oh racism. that's like the that's the, that's the, that's the N-word. wizarding N-word. That's the wizarding yeah, N-word. Yeah, you it's know, crazy. Uh, he was and he was that. letting it fly. Yeah, he was dude. dropping it. Him and his dad. His, his dad, dad was saying it, dude. The straightest hair I've ever seen on a human being. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, and dude. That like, by the way, that's drag. That's, that's drag, that's like, bro. Dude, Don't try to act tough, bro. Jason Isaacs, we know what you were doing. We there, know what dude. was going on. I love how now everyone is talking about how like insensitive J.K. Rowling has been with some of her comments, which absolutely they absolutely have been. But like, go look at those movies. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah, yeah. She didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got fucking <laughs> Lucius coming through with the longest, just straightest hair I've ever seen yeah. on a human that's not in drag. Yeah, I've I've seen that wig before. Oh yeah, and it's fucking <laughs> plowing you in the back of your fucking car. I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Mr. Was, Gold was wearing it. No, it was a bald Jewish man. Right? Yeah, I mean he had a he had a bald Jewish man in his pants, maybe, but <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking Mr. about anymore. Mr. Gold. It just so happens to be that name. Yeah. Anyway, before we go, <laughs> which house do you think you would get in? Man, I'd like to be in Gryffindor. Wouldn't you? I, I we, would. We, would, we can't have you. I would. We can't have you. Yeah, you know I'm Gryffindor. Oh, you're Gryffindor. I have to be. Why there. are you Gryffindor? The, the no, game said no, I was Gryffindor. No, 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 no. Fuck the game. Fuck the game at all. I picked Gryffindor in the game. They originally gave me something stupid like Hufflepuff. I didn't. I didn't. I pick. was so mad, dude. I let them pick. I was me. so. I was so mad. Yeah. But I think I would be a Slytherin. Really? Because I'm resourceful. I'm cunning. I'm <laughs> That's incredible. I'm like sly and slick, you know what I mean? Like I can kind of talk my way in and out of situations maybe sometimes. Yeah. I think I would be a Slytherin. I would like to be Gryffindor though. Would Who doesn't you, want to be Gryffindor? Would you roll with uh, Draco, uh, Hell no, that Goyle, br- and ba- Barf? What's his name? <laughs> Crab. Crab. <laughs> Barf. <laughs> Barf. Goyle though. Goyle. I wouldn't hang out with anyone named Goyle. I don't care if they were like best friends with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Goyle. It was like, hey, this is Goyle. Like, oh, that sucks. I'm instantly sure for Gargoyle. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, if his name was Gargoyle, though, that's kind of cool. Big difference. Yeah. Uh, I would no. I wouldn't hang with them. I'd be like with like the like, you know, the kids that were like drinking polyjuice potion and getting drunk. You know, next and like hanging out with Moaning Myrtle and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. 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 I'd definitely hang out in that scary ass bathroom. It's a cool bathroom. It's a really cool bathroom, and you big can, sink. And that that sink that parts. Big sink. I'd hang out there, hundred percent. I wonder what the water bill is there. It's you all magic wizards? water. They're on a lake, Joey. They, they probably have pumps. That makes sense. 
That's got to also be the scariest place to go to school. You're just walking down the hall, and there's a giant snake. Yeah. And it's like, oh, by the way, just don't look at the giant snake. Headless like, ghosts? Yeah. It's like, oh, by the way, what's up? It's like, that's decapitation. Yeah, that's Don't crazy. want that. I like it, though. Anyway. Can I ask you another question? Mm-hmm. Seriously. Yeah. McMonagle. McMonagle? No. McGon- McGonagall. McGonagall. Tearing it down. Kind of hot. Yeah, I'm God. tearing it down, Dame dude. Maggie Smith still got it, bro. Yeah, she does. That's she... Dame Maggie Smith. She, I'm tearing it down, dude. Like, ho. I heard yeah. one ho. She's out of the classroom. I was like, nah, bro. Oh, and when Take she... me to And in one of the last movies where she's just like, we have taken back Hogwarts. I'm just like, yo, this. Yeah, I was like, yo. Give her some of my fucking, you know, broomstick. You know that's what, what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'll bro. show her a Nimbus three inches. Yeah. <laughs> McGonagall's getting it, bro. Also, I wouldn't be able to kill Bellatrix because I'd be trying to fuck her the whole time. Damn, you about that? Hell yeah. Those teeth fuck me up. I can't I know. Do those it. are not great. Those are not great at all, dude. But there's something about her. No, fucking... I'd be like, yo, I can save you. Nah, you remember... fix your teeth. Nah, you remember Draco's mom, dude? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. If Hell you yeah. put Draco's dad's hair on Draco's mom... But what about Tonks? What was her name? Who? The one that was with Lupin? She oh. was like a cat? Yeah. Tear that down too. <laughs> What's good? I'll tell you who I wouldn't. That bitch. That Uh-oh. fucking little bitch. Uh-oh. With the, the pink. Who was that? Hey, hey. Uh, Umbridge. Yeah. Fuck bro, that I hated bitch. her so hate much. That dude. Bitch, yo. But maybe she just needed some, you know? Yeah, it ain't getting it from me though. Just fucking just... You getting an avocado. Oh know what I'm damn, you're murdering her. I'll kill that bitch. That's what you <laughs> you'll flat out murder. Yeah, I'll, gotcha, I'll kill her. Cool. Alright. Anyway. F Alvarez eight eighty five on Twitter. <laughs> The Frank Hours and all the forms of social media. And then go check out the show on all forms of social media at The Basement Yard. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. Apple Podcasts. And then Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Joey, sign it off for the people in the back. You could follow me at Joe Sanagato. Go follow the show at uh, The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. That is all. See you guys next time. Ah! <laughs>